just trying to chop that. This is oh, the Camp Cannon Machete Tour. Oh yeah, oh dude. Hold on, hold on. Watch my hand. Oh, watch your hand. <laughs> I'm bad with machetes. <laughs> Get a firm footing first. <laughs> oh my God. It's dangerous out here. What's up guys? Just hanging out here. Uh, good old Matt running the camera. His lady Donna and her mom gave us a present. Thanksgiving's over, so is the fall season. We're heading into our holiday season of Christmas and don't need pumpkins anymore. What do you do with pumpkins? Feed them to the sulcata tortoises. These guys are gonna be so happy they got this stuff. Uh, it's actually a really good natural uh, dewormer, believe it or not, pumpkin. So. They're going to go ahead and eat that. The other cool thing is if you look at Hercules right there, he's got more than he can chew. He's actually wearing down his beak when he eats hard foods like this. All of them are. If you look at the female to your right, Matt, now if where? you look at her little mouth, uh, you can see something called cusps. There are these little things. They look like two little vampire oh, yeah. fangs, yep, but yep. they're actually cusps. They're part of the beak. And oh uh, God, yeah. if they are not worn down properly, they can actually hinder the animal's ability to eat. So these are grazing animals for the most part. What they'll do is they'll graze on the ground. Every once in a while, they'll bite into a stick or they'll get the ground itself and it helps wear down those beaks. It's a natural way, like a natural emery board, like the ladies go to the nail parlor and they get that filed down. Well, these tortoises can do that. Now in the years past, these are huge. they're huge, yeah. They're There's actually tall. some that are bigger. If you look at some of the other tortoises, some of them have three cusps, um, but they're, they're big. That's why I like to feed them these uh, foods seasonally oh, yeah. as they become available because they really do a good job in ripping it out. Um, so the other cool thing is, um, you know, the beak is made of keratin and uh, it's also known as a ramp, a ram, a ramp, a ramp, a a ramp, a ramp, that's what it's a called, rampathica. a ramp, a ramp, So yeah, very cool stuff. These guys are going to collectively chow down on the pumpkin and uh, they really love it. They, who doesn't love a pumpkin pie or pumpkin bread or these guys love these straight pumpkins. up pumpkin. Yeah, they're pretty happy right now. But i um, very happy with these animals here. They're so hardy and they've been doing so well here at the camp. I've had these guys since 2005. So they've been with me about nine years. Uh, he's doing good on the outside of the shell with that. Oh yeah. I even... tried to flip it around the other day when they were eating some. Okay. And because I figured he would never get through the outside, but he's having no problems. No problem at all. And they'll use their feet to kind of brace it. You see, they take their nails right. and they brace it or they'll actually bite on it then use their front limbs to kind of break off a piece. They can torque it, watch this. They're actually quite strong. So it's important to watch what you're doing. You don't want to get bit by a tortoise because even oh, though they won't bite you on purpose, uh, they could kind of mess you up a little bit. So be careful. But I always say, if you can't get away from a tortoise, you guys got bigger yeah. problems. Yeah. So very cool stuff. So I just oh, want to shout out, his leg. Uh, look at that. Yeah, that one's getting a little nasty. I want to shout out to Donna and Donna's mom. Thank you. The tortoises really appreciate this. Thank but you, I also Donna want to and Rose. Show you, I also want to show you something else because as you know, things are always happening here at the camp. Let's go over to the big pond. Now the big pond is an area of the camp that to be perfectly honest with, I haven't been spending much time on. Well, that's all going to change. I want to really dial this place in. Um, I have all this space that I never really use and I kind of want to use it again. Watch your step going over that wire. I don't want you to trip on it. Go ahead over. We're good. Cool. So anyway, look at all this cool area. And we got this big pond and we've also got new plants growing up. These are going to be trees. These are olive trees that oh, have no came way. over from the main one. Yeah. So they're look populating. So I actually got in here the other day and I started to do something I haven't done in a while. Work. I've been working, yes, working in the old yard. Like, look at this, we got all these cabbage ponds popping up. So I want this to become kind of a nature walk. I'm gonna plant bamboos and other things. The problem is, is that if I plant bamboos and other plants, all those grandest turtles will come on out and eat it before it can grow. So as we move over here, you'll see what I'm doing. But 
Look at the brush piles I've been making. Um, we've been getting rid of plants I don't want. We're gonna add new plants. I'm gonna weed whack, I'm gonna mow. I'm gonna make this look really cool. And this is gonna become an area that I'm gonna develop here. Because I can even get cages out oh, here. Oh, totally. Which we is, talked about this, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to be done. I this also have space. been reinforcing the perimeter fence, but then I got to thinking. I'm like, you know what I need? I need a two-stage fence. I need a fence on the inner diameter of this pond right. as a way to really secure the animals. We don't want them to escape as this fence gets older. And we also don't want them eating plants and then planting in. So look what I'm doing. I've been motivated like you wouldn't believe uh, sinking these posts. I got so oh. much done uh, yesterday. And so we're going to make a fence. Now, these posts, of course, are tall, but I'm going to cut them down. So there'll be a low fence. We're going to make a nice low fence here so that the turtles in the pond are only going to come up certain space. Let's see. I think I see a basilisk right over here, right in this Where? cypress knee, went underneath it. See that lizard? Yes. Where? Is that a basilisk? I thought I saw a uh, cool I basilisk. I think you're seeing oh, things. Oh, I'm seeing things. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I was trying to point out the basilisk for you. But anyway, these are dead, dead branches right here. Um, but we got these nice cypress. The turtles will only be able to come up to a certain area. So that's what's going to happen. They're going to only be able to come up to here. So we're oh, you did the whole, oh, oh yeah, look at this. Which I got to be honest with you, with all these cypress knees, not easy, man. No, it's not. It was a bit of a challenge, but I got it done. So I'm pretty excited about that. And um, yeah, I cut down a lot of plants. Um, we're going to make it look really cool in here. Kind of surprised um, you didn't wait for me to do I know. Well, with. you know, I was thinking, I was definitely thinking of <laughs> I'm that. I'm always down for that. Yeah, but what, what do you got here? I want to just nail this real quick. Watch yourself. I wanted to get rid of this yesterday, but I couldn't pull it out. This is so the I got my machete. Camp Cannon machete tour. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I got to tell you guys something. You're always giving me grief about using my chainsaw, right, people? So I was using the chainsaw <laughs> and I was wearing shorts. The chain came off Ooh. the chainsaw, swung around, ripped through my shorts, and actually got me right here. Uh, I, I would That's show serious. you, but I would have to yeah, drop no. trowel, and I it's don't want to do that. that. Kind of show. Kate would get mad. It is not that kind it's of channel. Not. But anyway, I got a little cut. I was so lucky. If it was a real cut, it was close to my femoral artery. Oh, look, there's a turtle right there. Here's one of the grandest. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Let's see if this animal's. Oh yeah, right here. He's a big one. Look at that. It's a big female. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. Look at these guys. Oh. Rarely do we get anything out of this pond. I oh. think it's been... Look how fat and happy months. this guy is. Oh my. Is that normal? Yeah, sure. When they eat a lot. That's a big, grandest female. Oh, yeah. yeah, wow, look at that. Isn't he's, that incredible? She's swollen everywhere. So these are the giant Asian pond turtles. And uh, like I said, I've got quite a few of them in here. Also got Orlidia borneensis. We've got a lot of cool stuff. What's that? Is that damage or is that just how it is? That's uh, probably damage. This animal was wild caught. This is an older animal, uh, a large one at that. The males get bigger than this, and uh, they are really incredible Let's because these guys will actually oh, walk yeah. around. Oh, look at the black. Oh, oh yeah, that's we got poop, it. Yeah. Dude. yeah, that's what they do. These guys will that's poop. Nature. It is nature. Um, but anyway, these guys are really cool. So I'm, cool. I'm excited because when I get this uh, pond all situated, uh, or the fence, I think it's really going to be easier for me to collect the eggs which is something that I want to be able to do. I would love to be able to put some larger species of turtle in here um, that can take cooler temps. Uh, we can really load it up because you know what guys, I got all this land and pond. Uh, let's get some turtles going. I mean, a hundred turtles in here is not nearly enough, but once we get that fence set up, it's going to be really cool to keep track of everybody and to get the eggs out, which is going to be fun. You legitimately do have about a hundred turtles in here. It's oh, yeah. crazy. We don't see them support enough. way more. So, so just real quick, where would, would you be able to plan it out so that they'd plant that so that they would, um, Lay eggs, lay eggs area. in a certain area. Yeah, that's a great question. But are they doing it now? Is kind well, of no, they're question. kind of laying where it suits them. But what you can do, and this goes for anyone out there watching, um, what you want to do is pile up clean fill or a sandy soil. Um, it's going to go, I'm thinking over in this area will be a wider beach area. I can dump more sand over the uh, the rocks that are kind of holding the bank together. Um, yeah, here comes a little slider come to say hello to me. Um, but if you put an area that looks appealing, that looks like they want to lay there, something they're looking for, a large mound of sandy soil, that's going to attract them to that area, uh, especially if the, the soil is banked up because what the turtles do, they, land, uh, they, they like to lay on the high areas so that when the babies hatch, they're pointed downhill 
and usually downhill is where the water is. So this pond has so much potential um, and I'm really excited that I'm getting my button gear to kind of come over here and do things because it's, um, it's like a, it's a cool area, you know what I mean? So you can see this is where the fence line will be. Okay, and this still gives me room right to kind of dry. If I need to bring my pickup through to pick up all this oh, trash and you stuff, think you could fit um, that? Oh yeah, I can actually drive all. You'd have to the rip out the all pump. of these cypress knots. I don't think I'd rip them out. I'd leave them. The other them. thing that Kate and I were talking about doing is, what if we made a boardwalk over it? I think that would be really, really cool. Oh, so you'd really clean this <clears> area up? Yeah, I, I like I said, I was really going to town here, but I'm doing this because I would love to be able to do. Uh, private tours in the future and I just want to make the place beautiful um, and just have like an experience that people can really enjoy and kind of get get a really nice tour through the the back garden as it were that would be this awesome. is going to be cool so like I said it's it's only going to be about that tall we've got some old uh, stump or old uh, posts that I had but I just need it tall enough to keep the turtles in uh, but I can easily step in. Let's walk around it more and see what else we can find. In fact, these cypress knots are oh, so he's ridiculous. He's a hard time walking, dude. They're so I've ridiculous. I've been walking through here all day yesterday holding holding uh, my uh, posts. We're going to make a left. We're going to go over here. I want to see if anyone else is floating around. This is such a great little pond. We really haven't done much in no, here. I know. It's really continually cool. continually try to look for Godzilla, which I fully support. But look at this. Look at this. That's a nest. Okay. See what I mean? They like to lay in these areas. And then I did find this yesterday, which is kind of crazy. I think this was a raided, this was oh, an yeah. egg that was raided. Um, this is actually a, uh, gr yeah, this was a grandis egg. And that's a mm. that's that's the difference. Remember, I, yeah, uh, in other delicate. videos, I talk about leathery shell and porcelain shells. Well, grandis are a water turtle that have a leather uh, a porcelain shelled egg. So we're going to toss this back. But you can see um, there's some TLC that needs to happen. Yeah, you know, I got to fix certain things. And that's what I'm all about doing recently. Uh, we're just going to get it all dialed in. It does not have to be tall. It just has to be functional. Um, I don't know what that plant is. Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there who have helped to create an amazing reptile community online with us. This week's shout out goes to Brooke Machuka. We'll get rid of it. Here's the rainbow eucalyptus tree. This oh. thing just fell. Um, this just broke off. We had some pretty high wind a couple weeks ago, so I'm gonna have to chainsaw this. But look at this. This is actually kind of a decorative. This could go good in that a would be in a great. cage, right? That Don't would be great in Inky's new cage. Or, yeah, we could do um, something like that. I like the way the wood looks. It's really pretty. This wood. Yeah. Like I said, it's a rainbow eucalyptus. I'm just trying to chop that. There we go. I can get a lot done with a machete. Camp can a machete hour. There we go. Awesome. All right, there's something else I want to do in today's video, friends. I showed you the update of what we're doing here in the big pond. We got to see a grandest, but let's go out to the front aquascape ecosystem pond. I want to check up. Oh, there's a rabbit. I want to. This is, like so a really this is the best way to get out, you sure? Yeah, this okay. is the best way. Look at what he's dragging me through. I don't know, but I'm going to chainsaw these out. See, these are all starting to grow here. But I think I want to get rid of these because I don't want to obscure my view from here. Definitely not. I'd rather be able to look over this, over that pond. Nor do we want to have the jungle walk to get to the gators like we did this morning. I know. Well, that's what the machete is <laughs> for, man. Hold on, hold on. Watch my hand. Oh, watch your hand. <laughs> I'm just doing it. He's great. I'm bad with machete. I'm a dangerous man. All right, let's go. <laughs> get a firm footing first. Bring it like a baseball bat. Oh my god. It's dangerous out here. Oh. Come on, kids. We're going over to the front. I want to do a little recon. We haven't been over on the front. We had a cold spell. I want to check up on some of the critters. And uh, that's what we're going to do right now. Specifically, I want to just have a look at some of the pond turtles. I was running water in there, but I get a little nervous when it drops below uh, 55 degrees, which it did last night. So let's go over here and see where everyone's hiding. We've got turtles hiding in their heated shelter, the tortoises oh, yeah. that in there. But I do want to make see if anybody made use there's of a lot this of digging here. here. Yeah, you can kind of see. Well, there's definitely Well, that's a lot. where the tortoises were, but I picked them up and moved them out. So I just want to I cut That's an interesting hole. You see how it's also moist under here? Yeah. 
turtles would like that, man. Up, oh, there you go. Look at this. So this is actually the Flavo Marginata. This is actually Whoa, the, the on that's the margin, the Flavo oh, meaning wow. uh, yellow and Marginata, I guess, meaning down the margin. I don't know. This is the margin, but Marginata, who that's knows? Beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? That's a female. Oh, right this there. is a hinging. That's right. It's a box, box turtle. Box exactly. It's one of the Cora genus. But yeah, these guys are awesome. They, they can take cold weather, so I'm not really worried about these guys, but it is good to see that they're doing what they're supposed to. I put them right back and we cover them up. Cool. Yeah, I like, uh, that's why I leave some of this leaf litter and stuff, because it's also providing refuge for the bugs that they eat. A lot of millipedes, did you see that? Uh, They're kind of looking through there and eating all that food. There's a, it's a buffet. I mean, it's like living in the wild, these animals. They, they really have a lot to do and eat. So that's exciting, I love that. You know, I think that's one of the things that makes the way that you and some of the people that you affiliate yourself with, with the way that they take care of animals they're mixing in their enclosures with real life like they're finding you know food it's not just like at a zoo where they're getting whatever they're fed you well know, this you is, try to make it as real as oh, possible this is, this is this is the way it's got to go there's yeah. another flavor we call them flavos for short there's another one another female Again, no problem. Oh, it's very orange on the side. Yeah, of the so head. pretty, right? Wow. And heavy. Very dark on the bottom too. Yeah, yeah it's not such even a wet. cool critter. Very cool. Yeah. Now, if the uh, the um, the Asian, the Malaysian box turtles are smart, they're going to be in the water because that's going to be warmer than the air. And if they are in the air, they're going to be burrowed in towards a, a plant. So let's go over here. As you can see. One of the cool things about winter though, since we don't have the same amount, uh, the same photo period and same intensity of sun, um, our ponds do extremely well. Uh, the, the aquascape ecosystems are really good at filtering out their, their biofalls. I mean, look at how clear that water is. Yeah. Just stunning, stunning water. Um, and the water right now is about in the high 60s. I did take a temperature early, but I really wanted to wait until you guys were with me in order to kind of get in here and see what we can find with some of these animals. There's usually a lot right up here. There is. Ah, right, here we go. Here's, here's what I was looking for. These guys are a little bit, they're hardy but they don't tolerate cold for as long as our friends, the, the Cora Flavo Marginata. This is the Malaysian box turtle. Oh, and yeah. it's kind of funny, a lot of people, you know, might just think, ah, oh, it's just a brown, blackish turtle, but they're really cool. They have a pretty uh, uh, stripes on their head, you'll see. Is he peeling right there? Uh, yeah, just a little shedding. Yeah. It happens. Oh, I didn't know that. No problem, yeah. And then I think over here is somebody. Who's this? Look at this, guys. This is our big Indian spotted turtle. There we go, that we got from our friend oh, Maurice. Big. Yeah, he's real big. And he's got a very, oh my God, that face is so wild. Isn't that Look cool? That. That's a male. This I'm still male. so surprised. It's just I love amazing. It. Yeah, they're really, there's that so many different species. So unique. Isn't that cool? The, mm. that, that big bulky head shows you what he eats. They're gonna eat crustaceans and freshwater mollusks and things like that. I don't think I have ever seen him before. No? I'm definitely not up close, because this is remarkable. Really I, cool. The face is very cool. Pretty animal. Well, huh? You wanna bite the camera? Go for it. No, no. Look at that, nice yep. concavity, large tail. Love it, yeah. love it. So he was just, again, burrowed yeah. into there. So he's doing good too. And as it warms up today, they'll come out in the sun, heat their bodies up, and they're able to really uh, maintain a uh, good temperature throughout the night as long as they can thermoregulate during the day. Let's wander over here. I just recently cut this down to kind of just to you know give it a little pruning. It's important to kind of take care of the plant life here as well. Sometimes the turtles go Ooh, into the uh, pond. So sharp things in there. Oh, there are a lot of plants. That'll get you. I'm surprised that we haven't found another one already. They're always stacked in here. I know. Especially when it's cold. Cool. Our okay? The smaller batter than we have. 
but let's check another area. I want to look in here. Always, 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 just say, always right? look in here, just in case. Nope, nobody's in here. But I do have a suspicion. It is very possible that there's somebody down in here. Wow, why would they go in there to stay warm? Well, yeah, it's just a refuge, but nobody's in there. Holy smokes. Don't worry, I'm not alarmed. There's a lot of places to hide. But again, this is just going to be a little check, a little checkup on our friends in the front pond. You think but, they're all in the water? That's very possible that they're hiding up. up tucked. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's another one. Uh, it's another one of our Malaysian box turtles. Yeah, it's a oh, male it's this very time. Light, very light. I mean, yeah. Man. So cool, huh? There you go. You really have an awesome collection here. I appreciate mm -hmm. these guys, man. They're just, I just like checking up on everyone. And of course, if it gets extremely cold, I'm going to, I'll go through here with a fine tooth comb and I pull in the animals because yeah. you just got a oh, little nervousness. Sorry there, buddy. You know, it's crazy to think that it's been almost eight months to a year since we were doing cold storage. I prepping. know, we're back. Ah, That's look out. crazy. We'll put this one back. Now, normally, if this were a desert species of tortoise, and they were living in the wild, you'd never pick up a tortoise. Because that could end its life. That's right, because living in the desert, if you scare it and it voids all that liquid, this animal would then not have a way to replace it uh, and therefore yeah, could potentially dehydrate. Be but luckily, it's in captivity, it's in Florida, it's not a desert species, so don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. Plenty of water here. I'm gonna put it back where we found them. And uh, yeah, guys, there you go, man. That's what's going on right now. Uh, I'm extremely motivated. The weather's been cool. I've been able to do a lot of work. We're gonna get back to work on that pond and uh, we're gonna make something really unique and special right here at Camp Kennan. And hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy it for yourselves. All right, I'll talk to you all again real soon. And uh, well, I'm gonna let the turtles be turtles. See you guys later, bye.